We're in Delegate Guard, and we're working on the leg drag. I'm going to perform two movements, or one movement that's going to build two purposes at the same time. I want to pop my hips back to shed this hook, but I'm also popping my hips back to bring this leg across to the other side of my hip. So I'm slapping at the knee and the ankle to create this effect in the leg, the internal rotation of this hip. Moving my hips back, popping the hook, and getting to this position here. All right, so this is the beginning. We're in Dalhiba, hips back, redirect, and then I'm pulling his knee right across my hip as I change my level, and then covering his like knee area with my armpit as I change the angle and get this wedge hook in place. So I'm grabbing my heel up, my knee down, creating an angle, and driving off my back leg to control the position. It's a basic option for a leg drag from Delhi Hiva. Now, there are a couple of really common responses. The first one we're gonna deal with is as I pop my hips back, he's gonna go for a high leg, and all I'm gonna do is switch my grip and put him onto an area of his back. I'm trying to put him into a situation where he's on the least surface area of his back, the smallest surface area, so it's really easy for me to move him around. And the most basic response would be just to tip him over. But what often ends up happening here is people like turn away and they roll really quickly. And you might end up going to the back or just gaining a dominant angle. Okay, so I'll do that one more time. Here, I move my hips back, he goes to the high leg, and I just control this one leg. All right, this is option one. Now, if I get through this and I get lower, and he comes up onto his elbow, right here, this is the next most likely thing for me to deal with. I'm gonna maintain pressure so he can't hip escape right away, and then I'm gonna deal with this frame in a way that we deal with a lot of frames, and that's by disconnecting and redirecting. So I maintain tension so he has to keep the frame, and then I disconnect just slightly for a moment. You don't even see the disconnection, but I relieve pressure for a moment, so I push and I relieve pressure and I bring his arm across his body. I can go in any direction I want to, so if he's here, like I can drive into him and try to drive it downwards, I can push it backwards. If it's early and he comes up onto his elbow, I can just open his arm up, pin him to the mat and pass this way, but I want to take it back. So when he's here, I drive and I disconnect, redirect, and I move into some kind of chair seat. 